Hey there, wanted to tell you a little bit about the difference between using properties or changing properties rather of an object using the properties panel up here on the ribbon of the home tab and changing them using the layer properties manager, which you can see is already on on my ribbon. And that's because it's docked over here with auto hide. Um, activated and so I just have to move my cursor over to it and there it is. So this is in your book. It is number seven in chapter 22 of the 2019 textbook. Uh, it is a, in chapter 21 somewhere of the 2018 text, textbook. So you can see that there are black lines that are continuous. There are blue lines that use the divide kind of line, the line type, and this is red dashed line type. And you can see that these were actually made using offset command and mirror command. I actually only made one quarter of this and then mirrored it to the, the right and then mirrored the whole thing down. So now I've got these and I wanted to show you if you click on this or if I click on this since you can't up here, you can see that it is red, that it is whatever the layers uh, line weight is and it is the dashed line type. Um, and in the beginning, that's how you guys changed things. But now we know about layers, and that is a much better way to change the way something looks in terms of its properties than just using the properties panel. And the reason for that is that what if your project manager says, okay, all those red dashed lines, I want them to now be uh, green dashed lines. Well, instead of trying to select every single one, in your entire drawing and then changing it, if you had left it at by layer, then all you would have to do is make sure that it was on the correct layer. So here they all are. They're currently on the black lines layer. Well, I want to change it to by layer. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So now I'm going to change it to red dashed and voila. Now they're all red dashed. And if you hover over one of them, it says polyline color by layer, layer, red dashed, line type by layer. Now, if, if my project manager says, no, I want those to all be green, I can just come here. Sorry and I can change it to whatever they said, color 92, for instance. I go back and they're changed. It's like magic. It's pretty, pretty amazing, the power of layers. All right, so let's say look, we gotta make sure that all of these are on the correct layer. Right now I'm selecting them and I look up to the layers control and it says, oh, they're on black lines as well. I want to make sure that my properties say by layer for everything. And then I'm going to put them on the blue divide line. And again, if I wanted to change, say, from dashed to, oh, sorry, it's on my other monitor, from dashed to something else, um, let's make it. Phantom. So I'm going to click down here on the available line types and I'm going to start typing my letter and there it is. So I'm going to do Phantom 2 because it looks awesome. Um, and then I'm going to say OK and there it's changed. And there it's changed. Looks pretty much the same. Let's try a different one. Um, there was a cool one. Ooh, hot water supply. Look, if you're not having fun, what's the point? There, now my red ones are hot water supply. So you get the idea. Try and keep this 
when you know on by layer these three controls whenever you can uh, if you realize that something is on the wrong layer see for instance it says black lines up here that means that that's the that's the current layer and what I, and whatever i draw will be on there if i put it on the wrong layer well then you just select it and click where it needs to go all right hope that helped you have a great one